and he said that they are marking the sides of the freeways with X's for pull-in points where they're going to start, you know, flagging people into these pull-in points, and that's where you're going to given, be given the choice. Take the shot or get, get on, on the bus. bus. It's... Uh... It's insane. It's absolutely, it's absolutely insane. And the only thing that we can do, of course, is to warn people. And I spend so much time writing articles and getting Dr. Blaylock's information out, and these experts really know what they're talking about. So we, you know, actually, uh, what it takes me seven days a week, you know, just to keep up with the anti-aspartame uh, you know the aspartame epidemic that's that's absolutely global, but we did put up if you go to the website, you'll see at the top some little boxes, and one of them will say vaccine information, and you should read some of Dr. Blaylock's reports and the video and um some videos of it uh where he is uh doing some interviews and and try to protect yourself and everybody that you know and to make to make matters worse what what is so difficult lately mr pape who used to be head of the national soft drink association which is now american beverage head of the national yogurt association has petitioned the fda to allow it in yogurt unlabeled and they want to put it in uh, dairy products unlabeled and what we're having to do is to say look um if you want to save your life, do not, under any circumstances, use processed food. Don't put anything in your mouth that you don't know where it came from. And, in fact, the uh, just like sugar people now have made a safe sweetener. That's what it's called, just like sugar. It's just chicory and orange peel. Chicory has been used for 70 years to improve the health of uh, diabetics, and they've got uh, vitamin C and calcium because Dr. Blaylock asked that it be analyzed. So that is safe because what's happening is, for instance, you want to kill a diabetic, aspartame not only can precipitate diabetes, it simulates and aggravates diabetic retinopathy and neuropathy. It destroys the optic nerve from the free methyl alcohol. It causes diabetics to go into convulsions. It interacts with insulin, and the free methyl alcohol is causing them to lose their limbs. And the American Diabetes Association says, use aspartame. And Dr. Roberts, who wrote the medical text, is a diabetic specialist, an endocrinologist, and after 35 years of telling him, you know, he just resigned. He thought enough is enough. In other words, these professional organizations, they're, they're there to take funding. And the American Diabetes Association was sued. It was a, a pro se case. And they had enough power to get out of it, but uh, sued for racketeering for pushing this. And now um, we've called Mars, is aspartame in your products? And well, yes, in the Mars bars under natural flavors. So if anything says artificial or natural flavors, run from it. If you can afford it, use organic. And Dr. Roberts, this is on WNHO.net, but he has uh, written a a paper on aspartame and absorption on the gum issue because because it's a drug, it works like nitroglycerin under the tongue, goes through saliva, straight to the brain, and people are having grand mal seizures on a stick of gum. They did a a TV program here with one woman who'd never had aspartame in her life until somebody handed her a piece of uh, sugar-free gum and she had a grand mal seizure. So and we even have uh, an aviation division because of the pilots. One of them was drinking a Diet Coke in flight and dropped dead. And the reason being is that uh, Dr. Blaylock and Dr. Roberts have written articles on how aspartame causes an irregular heart rhythm and interacts with all cardiac medication, damages the cardiac conduction system, and causes sudden death. So people are actually dropping dead from it. It and also that's how causes it is. Didn't you say it also causes impotency in men? Oh, yes, it causes, uh, I think that's on uh, doorway.com. If you uh, look up uh, Doctors Speak Out, you will see Dr. Bowen's 
uh, paper on how it damages the hypothalamus and causes male sexual dysfunction and ruins female response. And so that's why we are spammed with Viagra and ads for that type of thing. It destroys the family. In fact, Dr. Uh, Bowen wrote a paper. You can Google it. It's called Aspartame Murders Infants. And he says from the first twinkle in a man's eye that um, that it not only uh, causes male sexual dysfunction and ruins female response, but then if they uh, have a child, uh, it can cause birth defects. And even if a live child is born, it's probably heinously damaged DNA for generations to come. And because it causes psychiatric behavioral problems, you know, people don't get along with each other. It causes suicidal tendencies, bipolar, paranoia, schizophrenia, panic attacks. And the doctors tell me that many mental hospitals are just full of people that are nothing in the world but aspartame victims. And, on top and, of and that, it, it interacts with mental drugs because mental absolutely. drugs alter your brain. Yeah, it says in Dr. Roberts' mental, uh, in uh, the medical text, <clears throat> It interacts with all antidepressants. And I was talking to Dr. Walton one day. He's a psychiatrist we work with. And uh, if you remember, there was a woman who killed her five kids. Remember that some years ago? Oh, she yeah, drowned, in Texas. Right, drowned them in the, in, in the tub. And that woman was drinking Diet uh, Coke, and she was on Haldol. Haldol. Yes, and it's a... Uh, uh, like Dr. Walton said, that was a, d- a double whammy. You know, she just didn't have a chance. And if you want to hear one that's um, also uh, terrible, if you've seen the movie Sweet Misery of Poison World, you remember that uh, Diane Fleming, a Sunday school teacher, has spent six years in prison and uh, was convicted of poisoning her husband, who drank diet soda all day long. They found methanol poisoning. The last thing that he had was three times the amount of creatine, which interacts with aspartame, and a toxicologist said that it was the last thing he drank that caused his death. But there was no proof, of course. There was no evidence or anything. And so they asked the jury, why did you convict this woman? And uh, they said because she could show no emotion. Well, what had happened was, is that she was such a basket case that being indicted, even the police knew she was innocent, and she took three lie detector tests, is that they put her on Zoloft, and um, and she was using aspartame herself and did not know, and that just made a zombie out of her. I remember doing a, a radio program one time in Cincinnati, and somebody pulled over to the side of the road because I had mentioned... Uh, Zoloft and Diet Coke, and he said, I just left my wife in the hospital, and there were some neurologists there, and they said that they just couldn't save her, and she wasn't going to live very long, and he says she was sitting there drinking a Diet Coke, and they were giving her Zoloft, and uh, he said, I heard you say that on the radio. Is there some chance that 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 I can save my wife. I said, well, the first thing you do is go get her off the aspartame. Anyway, they took her off for both, and about two weeks later, she came home. She's fine now. But he uh, said, I, if I hadn't heard you on the radio, she'd have died. Isn't uh, that wonderful? I don't need to be the Grinch, but we're running out of time. And Dr. Buddy, we'd really like to have you back on the show for a fourth radio interview uh, well, whenever you can. Well, you know what we we need to do, uh, Chris, is schedule her for a whole show. I mean, yeah. she's got so well, much information. Meant. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I hope that you can come back sometime soon and do you know a whole show with us because we are running out of time. We have a few minutes left in the show, and we do have to end the program. But we'd love to have you back again. Well, certainly. And anybody that is listening that's a victim can email me at bdm19 at mindspring dot com and. We'll get them on the aspartame information list and help them. We want to thank you very much for coming on to the show tonight, and uh, we'll schedule a, another show very, very soon. We want to thank you. That's Dr. Betty Martini, uh, speaking of aspartame and H1N1, 
and uh, we're going to 